All right, I want to deal with today's topic. Let your request be made known. Let your request be made known. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, it says this. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, listen to this, let your request be made known to God. Now, I asked God the question. I said, God, don't you know what I need? He goes, of course I know what you need. So I said, well, why must I go and have a request? Why must I come and speak to you? And God says, because you release faith. When I come before God, I say, God, please help me with this. Without faith, it's impossible to please you. God knows what your needs are, right? He knows. He knows exactly what, where you are at and what you are going through. I don't need to tell him that I'm going through a rough time or something's happened or whatever it may be. God knows. Now I want you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say. But when I come before God and I make my request known, I'm going to come before God in faith. I'm going to come before God and say, God, I thank you that this request is going to be met by you. You are going to take care of my needs. You are going to send somebody or something's going to happen that is going to solve this situation. Now, when I'm in a situation, God does not come out of the sky and solve it. He will always use somebody around you. He uses human beings. So the Bible says that we as humans are meant to minister. Right, Corinthians, if you read the story of seed for the sower, all right, food for the hungry, multiplication, those levels. It says it needs to be ministered. In other words, I person has to come and do it, deliver it to you. So God always uses people. Sometimes they're unsaved. I want to tell you, in my life, some of the unsaved people have really helped us. So God is always going to use somebody, but He will prompt them. And so you make your request known before God. You pray and you say, God, this is my request. I stand in faith believing that you're going to make a way. That something is going to happen. But the key of this thing is the first part of the verse. And I want you to see this. It's really important. Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing. Okay? Be anxious for nothing. In other words, in the crisis, you can't have fear. Fear is going to block it because fear operates against faith. Let me make a simple thing. If I really trust you, I'm not going to be scared of you. In other words, if I'm holding off the side of a building and you say, hold my hand. If I trust you, I'm not going to be fearful. I know that I'm secure in you. If I don't trust you, I'm going to be fearful. I don't know if this guy's going to drop me. And so the same happens with God. You can't have fear and faith operating together. So the Bible says, don't be anxious for anything. Don't have fear. But trust me. Let your request be made known. And say, God, by faith, I know like I know that you are going to come through for me. You are my child. I'm your child and you're my father. You love me and you only want the best for me. And so every single time we have gone in faith, I've seen a miracle take place in my life. I've had to sometimes go to the Word and start reading the Word more and more so that my faith can bold and break that fear. And then I go before God with my request and say, God, you understand where I'm at. I believe you. I trust you that you are going to work this out for my good. Let me tell you something. There have been many times in the natural where I don't see how God's going to work this out. But I want to say every single time, God has worked it out. We have got to where we need to go. And so this morning, I want to challenge each and every one of us. Are you letting your request be made known to God, but from a position of faith, where we believe and trust God that He is our source, and He's our only source in Jesus' name. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said, this is my body that was broken for you, take it in remnants of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you, take it in remnants of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation and protection. Alright, salvation, provision and protection. 
So right now, when we come around the table, let us understand that Jesus Christ paid a huge price for us. And we serve a mighty God who wants to care for us. But remember, we need to come in faith. We need to believe God. And we need to make our request known. Father, we come before you today. We ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, any wrong intention. Lord, I ask you please to wash us white as snow. Father, I pray right now that you're going to do something supernatural in and through each one of us. And Lord, as we stand holy and righteous and pure before you, I ask you please, God, to help us to deal with any fear in our lives. Lord, I thank you that we will stand trusting you, believing you, Lord, having faith in you, and knowing that you will not let us down. And Lord, right now as we come before you, we ask you please to let our requests be answered in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for the power of God that is released, the anointing that gets released. Lord, I thank you that you will not drop us. And Lord, I thank you that as we take of the elements right now, we will get a revelation of how great our God is, how much he loves us, and what you want to do for us in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we thank you for your dunamis power that flows through our physical bodies. I thank you, Lord, that you've paid the price for each one of us. I command every sickness to leave my body right now in Jesus' name. Every symptom to go. I thank you, Lord, that I'm healed by the power of God. Lord, I release the dunamis power of God from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes I was healed. And Lord, I thank you that I walk in divine health and divine healing. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to bless you this morning. I want to tell you that it's an amazing time to be alive. Amen. All right, so let's go. It is Saturday. I really want to encourage you to watch our guest speakers tonight. All right, 7 o'clock, we've got a guest speaker on. And I really want to commend them. You know, we've got men and women of faith. Men and women have got something to say. Men and women who have given you something solid so that you can stand strong and do what God is calling you to do. I want to just commend each one of this, our, uh, our team, those that are helping me, and just come encouraging, building up the body of Christ time and time and time again. Amen. All right. So right now we're going to pray. It's Saturday. I'm praying for families. I believe in families. I believe that God's got a plan and destiny for each one of us. Amen? So let's pray. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our families. We thank you, Lord, that you love us, that you care for us, and that, Lord, I pray right now for each and every one of our families. Lord, not only are they healthy and they well, but God, I pray for a supernatural anointing upon them. Lord, that they will carry the authority that's needed for this season. Lord, that they will speak life over themselves and over their friends. But God, I pray for the family unit, that they will be strong together, that they will fulfill what you've called them to do in Jesus' name. Father, I pray right now for marriages, that they will be strong. I pray your protection over them. Lord, that they are blessed and anointed in Jesus' name. I come against any plan of the devil to come between marriages right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that our families are strong and solid. Lord, full of the anointing and ready to do what you've called them to do. I pray for anybody who is unsaved. Lord, that you will draw them in and that they will genuinely serve you with all their heart in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. Supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. Saints, I want you to go out with might, I want you to go out with valor, 
And I want you to do what God has called you to do in Jesus' name. Keep those atmospheres open. And remember this, I love you lots.